Hey, this is Rich. I'm working with my brother Dave. We're renovating a large lake house and today's project, this is a brand new uh, fire pit and patio area. And what we want to do is put pavers over this patio. In order to accomplish that, the first thing we did is we put down a gravel base. And this base is uh, it's about four to six inches of gravel. And then over that, we're going to put an inch of sand and then on top of that, we'll lay our pavers. So basically, there's two ways to compact the gravel. You may have seen, a, there's a small like tamper. It's, those are about $30 and they sell them in the hardware stores. It's this little, uh, like about a foot square steel bottom and then there's a wood pole. You just tamp down with, with that tool. But the thing about that is it's not all that effective. So if you want to do the job right, you basically need this, this tool. It's called a plate compactor. And you can just rent it at pretty much any tool rental center. They come in two sizes. There's a 14 inch and there's a 20 inch. And so with the 14, they're both about 200 pounds. So the trade-off is with the 14 inch one, it's a little bit more maneuverable, but with the 20 inch one, you get your job done faster. That's what we're about. And so we rent at the big boy and we're just gonna show you how to use this. It's gas powered. So, you know, it works kind of like a lawnmower. You just gotta get it started. All right, so on this machine to get it to run, first off, there is this little red on off switch. The on position is down, facing downward. So we've put that on. This is the choke, it's in the open position right there. So what we wanna do is close it to start it and then we'll open it once we get the, the machine running. And then this is the throttle. And so it can go to a fast position or slow position, but we're gonna keep it here on the slow position just to get it running. And then it works like a lawnmower. You just pull the, the cord and hopefully it'll start up. Okay, very cool. Choke, choke, choke. Okay. So that we just move the choke off. And then we're gonna give it the throttle and try to hold on. Okay, well that's it, that's all there is to it. Basically, the machine kind of wants to take off when you have it on full throttle, so you just kind of got to hang on and you know, not let it run away. But beyond that, you know, it's pretty easy to use. Um, you really probably need a second person to help you load it back into your car because it's pretty heavy. But uh, other than that, you just hold on and get your surface all compacted and we're ready to lay some papers after we put our sand down. So thanks much for viewing and we'll see you next time.